Hi guys! Halloween's just around the corner and what better way to celebrate it than to make a pumpkin cake. Not any old pumpkin cake, but a gory pumpkin cake with the wicked hand coming out. So let's get started. Here I'm showing the full process of carving the grooves of what will be my pumpkin and crumb coating and buttercream. Time to refrigerate our pumpkin. Let's start working on our cake board. I wanted to give this board a sinister look, so I rolled out a small piece of red bonnet, not intending for it to cover the board completely. I created grooves and rips, no real rhyme or reason to this pattern. Time to airbrush some black onto my cake board. I covered a portion of my pumpkin with black fondant and smoothed it out. Time to roll out and cover your cake in yellow fondant while creating the pumpkin's grooves. I use my sketch as reference and freehanded a drawing on the face of my pumpkin using a food safe marker. Time to carve my wicked pumpkin. Removing the yellow fondant and exposing the black underneath. Already looking pretty neat. Let's start the airbrushing, slowly airbrushing the cake till my pumpkin turns orange and I love the way it's looking already.
Let's start the process of sculpting the creepy fingers. This is a long process, so have a lot of patience. I use my sketch and my own fingers as reference. Make sure you mix Tylos powder into your fondant so your fingers will dry and have some stability. Time to sculpt my pumpkin top. Let's make some blood using corn syrup and red food coloring. Yummy.
And there you have it, my completed Halloween pumpkin. Hope you guys love my pumpkin as much as I do. And if you replicate this pumpkin, I'd love to see your own version. I have some awesome cakes coming soon, so stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Sweet Bees. And of course, please follow me here. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed making this pumpkin cake along with me. And I hope you guys have a nice Halloween. Thanks for watching. Bye.